I'm sure there will be people who listen to this and think it's easy for me to throw out such an explosive accusation about my ex-wife as she's no longer here to defend herself. But I have no interest in slandering Whitney without cause. My intent in discussing what happened between us is not for the sake of salacious smearing. It's more about trying to paint the most accurate picture of what went on inside our marriage. One of her affairs that I am willing to mention is the one she had with Tupac. This occurred in the first few years of our marriage during a time when I thought we were in a good place. I will admit it here that the news of the affair really fucked me up. I could not believe that Whitney was willing to jeopardize what we had, which I knew was hot and heavy and unique for some fling. We fought long and hard about the cheating, lobbing hurtful accusations back and forth. We were together in September 1996 when we found out that Tupac had been killed. Whitney bawled her eyes out, crying for days over his death. Her tears were painful for me because I knew what that meant. My wife was mourning the passing of a lover. Of course, I was really sorry Tupac was gone. He was a talented artist gone too soon. He and I had talked about my signing to a label he wanted to form called Machiavelli Records.